Do you want your shots to look more cinematic and have that extra 10% of oomph that makes them pop and stand out? Well, let's set the scene then. Here's a shot I did a couple of days ago. This trick that I'm going to explain to you works with mostly static scenes where the camera or the subject isn't moving too much. Like this one right here. So this is the shot, you've color graded it to your liking in the software of your choice, in my case that's DaVinci Resolve, but this works in every other software as well. First, let's create a node and then a mask around your subject by clicking on the color tab and then on masks. Make it oval and place it directly over your subject. Play around a bit with the inner and outer shapes to get the desired placement you like. The outer shape actually decides the feathering of the mask. The inner one is the area that is affected. When finished, create a second node and copy and paste the mask you created in the first node onto the second one and then invert it by clicking right here. Now this is where the fun actually begins. Go into your color tab, click on the first node you created and raise the highlights by roughly 10%. This makes you stand out from the background immediately. To increase the pop even more, click onto the second note you created and lower the shadows by up to 20%. This really creates a pop between your subject and the background and focuses the eyes of your viewer on the main character in the video even more. To increase the focus on the subject even, even more, let's copy the properties of our second note onto a newly created third one and delete the shadow settings we just made. Go into your effects menu and select box blur. Lower the amount to roughly 0.2% and voila, you created a depth of field effect that focuses even, even, even more onto your subject and smoothens out busy and overcrowded backgrounds. And the last step, create another note. Copy the first note that we created at the beginning, disable the highlight properties back to 1.0 and then go to the effects menu for the last time. Scroll down to soften and sharpen and drop it onto your node. Set the small textures to 0.3, mediums to 0 and large textures to minus 0.3. This softens and at the same time sharpens parts of your image to get rid of the digital sharpening and create a more natural cinema lens like look with digital video. So we went from this image, which already looked pretty good, to this one right here that has a clearer focus on the subject, makes your colors pop even more and your image more cinematic. All of this in a couple of short minutes and even faster when you do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. As always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Where did that rolling R come from? There are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day. See you around and goodbye.